Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about what happens if you don't like the plans of God. This time, what if my aesthetics differ enormously from the aesthetics of God? Would I be able to enjoy heaven in that case? Again, before I try to answer this question, I think it's best to establish a few things about God and heaven. First off, God has a very special role in existence, I know, right? He's very different from any created thing because he's the one who set it all up. One thing that's special about God is his knowledge. Now, the word omniscient is usually used to describe the knowledge of God, and if you ask a man on the street what omniscient meant, he'd usually say it means knowing everything. That's not quite true, because knowing everything would also seem to involve knowing things that aren't true, like the sky is yellow or my feet are bright green. In theology, therefore, the term omniscient is usually defined as knowing only and all truth. This means that if God knows anything, that thing is true. Now, you might ask, does that mean that God would be ignorant of our opinions? After all, opinions are just opinions. They're not actually true. No, that's not what it means. You see, although opinions themselves may not be true, it is true that we have those opinions. Therefore, God knows that we have them, even though he doesn't share them. Because God only knows things that are true, however, there's another thing that he doesn't have. God doesn't have aesthetics. When God looks at a tree and a brown carpet, it would be meaningless to ask him to tell you which one is prettier. It would be equally meaningless to ask God to make a judgment on what style of makeup looks best, or which person in the front row is cutest. He could tell you what other people think on the subject, but he doesn't form those kinds of aesthetic judgments, or they wouldn't be subjective. As Jesus said, Judge not according to appearance, but judge just judgment. John 7:24. Therefore, the answer to the question that was posed at the beginning of this episode is no. You won't be able to enjoy heaven if your aesthetics differ from those of God, because that's not going to happen. God doesn't have any aesthetics to differ from. Now, this doesn't mean that there won't be aesthetics in heaven. Aesthetics is not in itself evil, so it will exist and be perfect in heaven. Every form of aesthetic appreciation and beauty will exist in heaven in a perfect form, and I suspect some types will be appreciated by more people than they are here on earth. In our own world, for the most part, only a single aesthetic is sold to people, causing it to become a trend, which lasts until the next trend comes along, but that won't be the case with heaven, because that would involve some goodnesses being absent there. Instead, people of heaven witness the beauty created by God in all of its many and varied forms and give glory and praise to him for it. Next time, would I be able to touch things in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.